The fish figurine goes here. George thinks she saw someone cutting the bridge. Did she see what he looked like? What makes you so sure it's a man? A working knowledge of history and humanity. Either way, she really couldn't tell. Any chance it's just her imagination? Yeah, but at the same time, shows like this have so many safety regulations. Regulations, sure. But don't forget that regulations matter less when the producer's a lunatic. Nice job winning your stage. Thanks, Nancy. I made a smart choice teaming up with you, it seems. Bye-bye. Later. Hi. Where does the nickname Sonny come from? My grandfather. Can you tell me a little about him? Sleuth is such a weird word. What? Anyway, his name is Jim. He's an explorer, the founder of Spide. Why did you call me a sleuth? You're the only contestant who doesn't only ask me about points. I bet Spide is one of those top secret members only clubs, right? But you're in luck. You've already been a member for a few years. Are most of your members unaware of their membership? Yeah, that's like issue one on the list of things to fix though. So, what are the perks of membership? Surprises. Like this one. Surprise! Your life is dangerous now. I can make you a badge if you want. I think you're the one who picked this season's cast. If I picked the cast, it would have been a little bit more colorful. And it would have speakers and moving parts. Wait, no, that's the opposite of what a cast should do. You're talking about George's cast. And the best part is, I totally know what you meant. What does turtle mean? Um, what? Maybe you should ask Patrick that. Beth said my quest was turtle. Oh, wait, all she told you was literally just turtle? Yes. She left out a lot of words. She did seem a bit frazzled. Stressed. You do know she's got a crush on you, yeah? That explains the photo edit she made of me holding a puppy. Sorta. It sorta explains that. Be nice to her. Bess is adorable, and she adores you. I see why you care about her, and of course I'll be nice. She's a terrible messenger, though. Sometimes. Your side quest is to discover the mysterious inner life of the Leatherback... Turtle. <laughs> wow, she left a lot of that out. Great. Now get turtling. Check your phone for a very special update from the show. So why aliens? Aliens are here. We're all aliens. Earth life started with bacteria on asteroids. In a way, we're all space mutts. I know you're worried about the future of Earth. I think we'll be fine on our own. You and me may be. Humans in general may be. But we're losing so many species so fast. It's not their fault we're here. Isn't hijacking a television show kind of a really terrible idea? But so is never reaching out toward the fantastic. I'll let you go. See ya. you found the medallion. Yeah? I hid a lot of medallions and left a lot of codes behind. It was a test. Oh yeah? What do I get for passing? 
I haven't decided yet. And stay out of my things. What were you doing near the bridge before it collapsed? I was looking for a fern like we were supposed to. My friend almost died. If you had anything to do with it... You'll what? I don't know. I didn't hurt your friend. Neither did Patrick. I am terrified of Lena. That is reasonable. Why does Patrick put up with her? Why does anyone put up with anyone? Because eating alone is sad? Is this normal Bess speaking or pining for Sunny Bess? Normal Bess is dead. It's just me, Tragic Bess. Watching my inbox, even though I know he doesn't have my email. Did you find a points card? Yes, I did. All right, thanks. Hopefully Lena cracked that code. This is weird, yes? You mean Lena helping us out? I only ask because you have thrown my barometer way off. You may blame me, but I blame Sunny. What do you think it means? If Sunny brought her here because she cracks codes, then maybe he needs help. But in summary, I have no idea. I'll let you go. Bye. How goes it? I have a points card. Any chance you'd consider trading something else? Oh, girl. Oh, girl. I'm here to win. Worth a shot. Here's a card. Here. Hey. Yeah? There's something I remember. About Sonny's grandfather. Really? Yes. When I caught him sneaking into the rare book room, I asked him why. He said, this is my etude. What does that mean? It's a type of musical composition. It's intended to teach a skill. To improve a certain technique? <sighs> I don't know how to take that. Right. I was more amused than anything, so I said, I suppose mine is chasing off old fakers. And? He said, no, it's better than that. Sonny will tell you. I just assumed that was some inscrutable old man joke. But then, Sonny exists. Did you ever find out what Jin was looking for in the rare book room? I noticed him sneak out of a rehearsal. So I followed him. When I cornered him, he dropped a book. What kind of book? It was amazing. It had all of these rare codices, like the Emerald Tablet, but... I could understand it. What was it about? These artifacts, it seemed. He took it. Ran off. I never heard from him again. Until one day I got a note. It simply said, I know you understood. Sorry I was bad at the trumpet. Do you believe that? I don't believe anything. I take evidence and I test it. And... So far the tests... Yeah, I believe it. Do you think your need to figure out riddles is what drew you to Patrick? No, I don't. Wait. Wait, that's it! Oh, this explains everything! Oh no, this explains everything. I need to leave him! Hang on, that's not what I meant. I'm looking for numbers in an empty set. There's no solution! The only way to win is not to play! Are you toying with me? Yeah. Patrick may not be the sharpest knife in the drawer, but when has something sharp ever felt like home? Anyway, there's more than being smart. I heard you were checking out the waterfall. Why? Did you see it or hear about it? Either way, I have to go. Your friend was trying to figure me out. What makes you say that? A feeling, I guess. She did. Did what? Figure me out. She just doesn't think so. There's not much there. I'm pending. A dud or something. You said you were a dud. Why? My family. They're all very different than me. That doesn't make you a dud. Just makes you... different. They're all very wise and accomplished. What did they do? Teach. What subjects? No, not like school. I guess I don't understand. They belong to an order. They teach people how to... not exist. 
Or not want, maybe. I tried to understand it, but no luck. So the teaching didn't appeal to you? How can anyone teach? There's too much to know. Talk to you later. Goodbye.